hello everyone and welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video we will be exploring how to store data in sql alchemy using flux and later on how to retrieve those data if you are new to sql alchemy it's a powerful and flexible object relational mapper for python that makes working with a database really easy first we have to install flux sql alchemy extension by running the flowing command to open a command prompt in pycharm you have to press alt plus F12, then enter the flowing code. After that, go to app.py file and modify it to configure the database connection. First, we also have to import SQL Alchemy. So I'm gonna write from Flux SQL Alchemy. With our database configured, we need to create a model for our user data. and write a code for creating a user table if the table does not exist. Now let's modify our submit route to store the submitted form data in the database. Now let's save this and read on it and try to store some data. Here you can see it says data has been successfully added. Now if I try to re-enter the same data, now it gives me the error. But if I change it and submit it, the new data has been added. Now to view those stored data, we can create a new route that fetches the data from the user table and display it on web page. First we need to create an HTML template called users HTML in the template folder. So go to the template folder and one thing to note that whenever you submit the data for first time, the database table will be created in the instance folder. As you can see, this is a database for storing username and email. Now let's create file called users table users dot html
Next is update your app.py file to include a new route called slash users that fetches the data from the user table and render the users.html template. So let's create a new route. Here we are using query all in a user table to fetch all the data and then store it on a all user variable. Then we render users.html template by passing user equal to all user. And then this user will get value and the all the available data will be displayed. Now let's save this, rerun it, then go to root slash user which is this now hit enter to see the data here you can see now let's try to enter new data ram okay okay the error is because the username should be at least four character and here i'm sending only three character so let's change it to sita and resubmit it now refresh this page and here you can see and that's it this is how you store the form data in sql alchemy and later retrieve it this is just a beginning you can further extend this example to include feature like user authentication password recovery and more if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more python and flux tutorial if you have any question feel free to drop it in a comment section below thanks for watching and happy coding